Nuclear conflict could arise from various scenarios, with potential flashpoints increasing globally. The war in Ukraine has underscored how regional conflicts involving superpowers could escalate unpredictably. Meanwhile, other nations, such as North Korea, continue to expand their nuclear arsenals, ignoring international calls for disarmament. North Korea's aim is to produce more nuclear weapons and make them increasingly lethal, which only exacerbates the potential for a global nuclear crisis. The risk of nuclear conflict is not limited to traditional superpowers. Several countries with nuclear capabilities, particularly those with hostile relations with the U.S., could pose a direct threat. Russia remains one of the U.S.'s most significant nuclear threats, given its extensive arsenal and its position as a major military power. Russia's nuclear doctrine allows for the first use of nuclear weapons, particularly in response to conventional threats or in regional conflicts. Some key Russian nuclear capabilities include the RS-28 Sarmat or Satan-2 ICBM, a heavy liquid-fueled missile capable of carrying multiple warheads, up to 15 MIRVs. This missile is designed to penetrate missile defense systems and target major U.S. cities or military installations. Range over 18,000 kilometers or 11,200 miles. Payload up to 40 megatons of TNT in a single warhead with multiple warhead options. R-36M or SS-18 Satan. Known as one of the most powerful ICBMs in the world, the R-36M remains a cornerstone of Russia's nuclear deterrence. Payload, 10 MIRVs, each with a thermonuclear warhead. Range, 16,000 kilometers, or about 10,000 miles. Russia has developed the 3M22 Zircon, a hypersonic missile capable of carrying a nuclear warhead. Its speed and maneuverability make it extremely difficult to intercept. Speed, Mach 8 to 9, or around 9,800 to 11,000 kilometers per hour range up to 1,000 kilometers, or 620 miles. China's rapid modernization of its nuclear arsenal is aimed at creating a credible deterrent against the U.S. and other powers. China maintains a no-first-use nuclear policy, but its military doctrines have evolved, with increasing emphasis on the potential use of nuclear weapons in a conflict. DF-41 ICBM, China's most advanced ICBM, capable of carrying multiple nuclear warheads, the DF-41 is a critical part of China's nuclear deterrent, designed to counter U.S. and Russian missile defense systems. Range, 12,000 kilometers, or about 7,500 miles. Payload, up to 10 MIRVs. The DF-5, also known by its NATO reporting name CSS-4, is a liquid-fueled intercontinental ballistic missile, or ICBM, developed by China. The DF-5 is capable of reaching over 12,000 kilometers, or 7,500 miles, allowing it to target virtually any location on the globe, including the continental United States. The DF-5 is designed to carry a single nuclear warhead, although it has been rumored that some variants could potentially carry multiple independently targetable reentry vehicles, or MIRVs, allowing for multiple targets to be attacked with a single missile. North Korea North Korea's nuclear ambitions have become a significant point of tension. While its nuclear arsenal is relatively small compared to Russia or China, its ballistic missile technology and willingness to escalate confrontations make it a potent threat. Hwasong-15 ICBM North Korea's longest-range missile, capable of reaching the U.S. mainland, particularly the West Coast. Range, over 13,000 kilometers, or 8,100 miles. Typically carries a single warhead, but there are indications that North Korea may seek to develop MIRVs. Wasong-17 ICBM An even larger missile that has been tested, with a potential range to target U.S. cities across the country. Range up to 15,000 kilometers, or 9,320 miles. Payload Likely capable of carrying multiple warheads. The United States possesses one of the world's most advanced nuclear arsenals, with approximately 5,550 nuclear warheads, both deployed and non-deployed. The B-83 gravity bomb is one of the most potent weapons in the U.S. nuclear inventory, designed to penetrate deep underground facilities. 
It's a powerful tool for targeting fortified sites that are difficult to destroy with conventional weapons. Yield range, up to 1.2 megatons, making it one of the most powerful weapons in the U.S. arsenal. Delivery platforms, strategic bombers such as the B-2 Spirit and B-52 Stratofortress. Minuteman III ICBMs, or Intercontinental Ballistic Missiles. Deployed in 1970 and continually upgraded for reliability and effectiveness, the Minuteman III ICBM is a key part of the U.S. nuclear triad. Payload can carry up to three MIRVs, each with a nuclear warhead. Guidance, advanced inertial navigation system for pinpoint accuracy. Speed, reaches up to Mach 23, or about 28,400 kilometers per hour, or about 17,600 miles per hour, enabling rapid global reach. Trident II SLBMs, or submarine-launched ballistic missiles. Known for their precision, stealth, and long range, Trident II SLBMs are deployed from nuclear-powered submarines and form a key part of the U.S. deterrent strategy. Payload can carry up to 12 MIRVs, depending on treaty constraints. Guidance system, stellar inertial navigation, ensuring high accuracy, even at extreme ranges. Range, approximately 12,000 kilometers, or 7,500 miles. In the event of a nuclear conflict, the safety of the U.S. president is paramount, not just for national leadership, but to maintain continuity of command and ensure that retaliatory actions can be taken if necessary. The U.S. has a comprehensive and well-established protocol in place for protecting the president during a nuclear attack or crisis. One of the key tools for the U.S. president in a nuclear emergency is a nuclear football, a briefcase that contains everything the president needs to authorize a nuclear strike, including authentication codes. The satchel includes classified communication and authentication codes required for verifying the president's identity and transmitting orders for a nuclear strike. Strike options. It also contains predetermined nuclear strike options, providing the president with a range of military responses in the event of a nuclear attack. Secure communication equipment. The football is equipped with communication tools, including satellite phones and encrypted radio systems, ensuring the president can maintain communication with military leaders and other key officials. The football is always with the president, carried by a military aide wherever the president goes, in case of a nuclear attack or other existential threats to the nation, the U.S. president has access to Air Force One, a specially equipped aircraft designed to keep the president safe while allowing them to exercise command over the military. Air Force One can function as a flying command center. The aircraft is capable of controlling military operations, including directing nuclear retaliation, even if the president is far from Washington, D.C. In the event of a nuclear strike or national emergency, the continuity of government, or COG system, ensures that the president, along with other key leaders, can remain in command. The U.S. government maintains underground facilities that can house the president, vice president, and other high-ranking officials in case of a nuclear attack. These facilities, like Raven Rock Mountain Complex and Mount Weather, are designed to withstand nuclear blasts and provide shelter and communication capabilities. Imagine it's the middle of the night at NORAD's headquarters in Colorado Springs. Monitors light up with a sudden burst of activity. ICBMs have been launched from Russian territory. Within seconds, the U.S.'s early warning systems kick into high gear. Satellites detect missile heat signatures, transmitting real-time trajectory data to ground stations. Advanced radars across the U.S. and allied territories calculate impact zones, providing critical minutes for defensive action. With incoming missiles confirmed, the U.S. deploys its multi-layered missile defense systems. Number one, ground-based mid-course defense, or GMD. Interceptors in Alaska and California are launched to destroy enemy warheads in space. Number two, Aegis ballistic missile defense. Deployed on U.S. Navy destroyers, these systems intercept shorter-range missiles targeting Allied territories or naval fleets. Number 3. Terminal High-Altitude Area Defense, or THAAD. 
Thad batteries stationed in Guam destroy incoming threats in their terminal phase. Despite these defenses, no system is foolproof. Some missiles evade interception, striking key cities like Washington, D.C. and New York. As the first impacts occur, the U.S. initiates a measured but devastating counterstrike to neutralize Russia's nuclear capabilities. The U.S.'s survivable nuclear arsenal ensures that, even after a first strike, it can respond decisively. An Ohio-class submarine in the Arctic launches Trident II D-5 missiles. Each missile splits into multiple warheads or MIRVs, targeting Russian missile silos, naval bases, and airfields. Minuteman III missiles roar out of silos across the Midwest, targeting Russian Strategic Rocket Forces facilities like the Kozelsk missile field. B-2 Spirit stealth bombers penetrate Russian air defenses, delivering B-83 thermonuclear bombs to command centers and missile launch facilities. The U.S. employs a flexible response doctrine, enabling a proportional and targeted reaction. Number 1. Limited Counterforce Strike neutralize key Russian missile sites, such as the Votkinsk plant or mobile Topol-M ICBMs, while avoiding population centers. Number two, regional tactical strike. A low-yield W-76-2 warhead launched from a Trident missile targets a military base in Kaliningrad, deterring further aggression. Number three, full-scale counterforce strike. A comprehensive attack disables Russia's nuclear infrastructure, including command bunkers like the Kozvinsky Mountain Complex and submarine bases at Gajevo. Nuclear weapons, though intended as a deterrent, present a persistent and grave threat to global stability. With geopolitical tensions, such as those surrounding the war in Ukraine and the ongoing proliferation of nuclear arms in states like North Korea, the risk of a nuclear conflict, whether deliberate or accidental, remains high. As such, diplomatic efforts, arms control treaties, and international cooperation must continue to ensure that the horrors of nuclear war are never realized. Humanity's future depends on the ability to prevent the unthinkable. <laughs>